Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and in this video I want to talk about the idea of minimalist mindset. What it is, why is this important and how it can be beneficial to your life. So in my previous video I was talking about the best decisions that I've made in my 20s and I mentioned that adapting minimalist mindset and lifestyle really helped me a lot. So what is minimalist mindset and why so many people are becoming minimalist nowadays? Let me share with you my take on this concept as I consider myself being a minimalist for the past five years. Minimalism helps create life centered around the things that are important for you and get rid of the rest, all the distractions and all the things that are consuming your time. Minimalism is not dogmatic, it's not rigid and you don't have to be extreme and you don't have to own 50 things or 100 things to be a true minimalist. Minimalism allows you to take what works for you and adapt it to your life and leave the rest. So let's go through a few core principles that I believe minimalism is based on. Essentialism. Think about the things that are the most important in your life and what is a nice addition. And try to spend your main resources such as your energy, your time and your money in the places that bring the most impact and are the most valuable to you. Minimalism and essentialism is not about self-deprivation or ascetism or preventing yourself from buying or owning things that you want or like. It's more about taking the focus away from the external world and trying to get validation and being accepted by social groups by following the social norms of being in a certain way, looking in a certain way, becoming somebody or owning something by a certain age, taking the focus away from this external world and placing it into your internal world, looking at yourself, who you are, what is important to you, who you want to become, how you want to spend your life, the time of your life and prioritizing that. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is about bringing a conscious awareness to the way you live your life and your everyday behavior, your habits, your lifestyle choices. When you embark on this journey and you will try to practice mindfulness in your everyday life, you will be able to notice how much you are influenced by the society and social groups you live within. And this gives you a chance to rethink your lifestyle choices, your habits, your reactions. You will be able to see what is actually good for me and what is actually not so good for me, but I'm just doing it because everyone else is doing this. So my personal example is that I stopped watching TV more than 10 years ago. I noticed how much watching TV and especially watching news fills up my, my mind with things that I don't actually care about, I don't wanna think about, and that can put me in a negative state of mind. One day I thought, it doesn't make me feel good, I don't really feel so entertained, I feel tired after watching it and I can't actually choose what I want to watch, so why am I doing this? And I don't regret not having a TV and not watching it for more than 10 years. Sometimes people ask me, how do you know about the news, the big things that's happening in the world? Trust me, friends and family will let you know about those things. Focus. Another core concept of minimalism is about focusing on the things that are most important for you, that bring you the most joy and the most impact. Prioritize. It's important to learn to prioritize the most important things in life and those that are important to you. In the process, you will have to learn to say no to other people's agendas and other distractions. Simplicity. You don't have to overcomplicate life. When it comes to food, accessories, home appliances, or even your wardrobe, identify the things that you like the most and you enjoy using and having and stick to those. In my case, for example, when I already have a laptop and I have a phone, I don't see the point of getting a tablet. Space is another important concept within minimalist mindset. Decluttering is often a first step many people take on their minimalist journey simply because you just need space to think and also invite new things into your life. So when I'm talking about space, I'm not talking only about your physical environment and decluttering your wardrobe and your suitcases and your closet, but I'm also talking about decluttering your digital space as well as your calendar. So my suggestion here would be to start with a stop doing list. Freedom. 
Minimalism helps you to get free from obsessions and desires to buy, have, own or be. It helps you to feel enough just the way you are and appreciate others for who they are. It also helps you create your own rules of success and rules of life and follow those. If you want to practice this, you can aim to free up some time every day to do nothing. You can go for a walk without a purpose, meditate or just lie down on the floor and observe the sensations in your body just being present in here and now. Responsibility. Responsibility goes hand in hand with freedom. So when you start living your life intentionally and you create your own rules for success and rules for life, you will be responsible for the consequences of every decision you make on the way. It's up to you to organize your life, organize your space, create your routines and habits and let go of those that are not working for you. Our life is based on the consequences of hundreds of smallest decisions we make every day. So choose them wisely. Sustainability. Becoming more and more aware of your lifestyle choices inevitably will lead you to become more and more interested in sustainable ways of living. One of the rules that apply here is quantity versus quality. Try to look at different areas of your life and see where are you actually focusing in the quality aspect or quantity aspect. And if you're focusing on the quantity aspect, is quality suffering there? Stop chasing numbers and focus on quality in every area of your life instead. Optimization. Optimization is another important concept within minimalist mindset. Creating a limited set of choices is meant to help you free up time and willpower. You can start by creating a list of few simple recipes that you will use every day to make breakfast, for example. Or you can create a capsule wardrobe or even create a uniform that you wear every day. So when you wake up in the morning and you look at your wardrobe, you know exactly what to wear because everything matches everything and you don't have to panic that you have nothing to wear. It can seem like being a minimalist is a difficult thing and you have to go through all these points and understand all the concepts and try to adapt them into your life. But actually, the main idea of minimalism and a minimalist mindset is about bringing consciousness and awareness to your life in general and your everyday choices and decisions and behaviors. So think about a work project. You can be so busy in the way you do things you might not see a better way to accomplish the project. You can be very tired, stressed out and overwhelmed. But when you zoom out and when you write things down on a whiteboard, you see the connections, you see the important pieces, you see the distractions, you can remove all the unnecessary things and keep only the important things, the healthy things, the sustainable things and ecological things. It's the same thing with our own life. Because we are in a driver's seat every day, we are so focused on what's in front of us, we are not able to become aware of what's happening around us and how we are actually interacting with the world around us and other people and situations. When we zoom out from the driver's seat, we are able to see ourselves in a wider context and see if it makes sense to still do the things that we are doing and still be the person we are or if there are better ways to do things and if there are better qualities that we can adapt and if there are the qualities or habits that we can let go of that can help us to go to the next level in our life. So what I want to say in the end is that minimalism is forcing us to bring consciousness into our everyday life. By bringing consciousness into your everyday life, you will make better choices and you will have better consequences while having fun in the process. If you like this type of content, hit the like button under this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.